be a little bit of meta, but ni nice to see the elites kind of getting back into play. It feels on the map very early. JDG, we saw at MSI, and they have finally come back to LPL to show why they should be feared. And look at the whole map state, right? You just got Dragon. You've now won out on top side, finding a kill. Oh, JDG goes down. Now they can turn back on top of this. The Heartbreaker is available to try and reset this fight. And they will be able to walk themselves away. It's scrappy. It's messy. But LNG finally get themselves on the board. A three-man top Ooh. loss. And they try to fully commit. How has nobody died? And it's actually the LNG who get the first death. JDG went so low in so many positions. But they just didn't get killed. And those health bars were blinking. But they were never gray. Three kills from nowhere. Could be even more as that shock blast gets accelerated right into the face of Gala and Hung. But that was just a crazy amount of damage. How did Missing not die? I don't know. And I don't know how no one on JDG died. I saw Ruler with a really nice cleanse and flash to be able to escape there. But now we're going to try and convert this into more knockback. Oh, one more zap. And that's it. The Pop Blossom is beautifully just buffered. And 369 solo bolo onto Scout. This is why people are calling him probably the best top laner in the world right now. And alert, alert, it won't save you. Uh, that means that you're just going to take it down. This is domination from GDG. They are not letting LNG breathe. We can even, we can even like... Once again, death sentence number one wasn't enough, but death sentence number two surely was. I don't care who this MVP was. It's missing for me and it always will be for this game. And we need to remember back to his day. As 369 gets another solo kill off on the side as he's looking to try and end the game. Tarzan, oh, you're caught between a Thresh and a, and a Elise, and there is no winning on that particular one. Baron, far behind. It's 13,000 gold, and that gold means a lot. Flash in. The cleanse is a little too late this time, and the death sentence will be just that for Gala. Game one going over to the MSI 2023 champions as they look to try and reestablish themselves as top dogs of the LPL. Yeah, we're going to see they're going for the base now. It seems like kind of playing with their food. As, ooh. Oh, they're Scout? going for a bit of Pop Rossum. Oh my god, I've cast her cursed it, haven't I? We can see now Hung getting 1v1 by 369, but can 369 end this game on his own? He is a man on a mission, and that mission He's is huge. to kill Scout over and over again. No one else is allowed to fight him, only 369. And 369, I don't think he can end the game, but he can certainly put in a lot of pressure. He's still staying here. This man just does not- Tarzan is dead. Tarzan just got 1v1 when all five members were in the base. That's what happened there. The Jace gets ulted on top of a foot. Ruler's too big. And this should be the end of the game. Yes, Gala is alive, but Gala is all alone in this world. He has got plenty of damage, but not enough to bring down these health bars. If it wasn't for the 15,000 gold- will be a... You know what? Sometimes top teams just smash each other. It happens. Yeah, I mean, look, that's the thing is that, like, we even saw it at MF. But it's like, okay, you're diving into Tom Kench, who's going to be able to eat the jinx. You're going to have the pop nation. And now, Kanavi's got it by himself. You're accepting this, and you took a 1v1 Ooh, that yeah, you 100% could not take. Yeah, that was, that one was a weird one. Not thinking he'd be able to come out on top. In time, but Pop is going to be good to knock out onto three. They're going to try and get the spell shield out of Kanavi, who has nowhere to go and no flash to keep him in the safe. Now the resets can really come in. Ruler is caught between a rock and a hard place, and he will go down. LA, he does get the stun down, but can they get the resets off? Knight doesn't let the, the Viego get his soul. And there's two quick kills. JDG finally getting themselves back on track around these objectives. And that gets taken out. One, two, and three now for Kanavi as he looks again to kind of create things around the map and around these lanes. You know, it might have only taken like seven to eight minutes, but the repeat gank came through and it was enough. Gonna for go it. for it. Yeah, they're just gonna go for it. Assassinated by three massive ultimates. And they do know that they're making a cross map play. So they get a kill, they get the tower as well, you would imagine, or at least a hell of a lot of damage on it. Immediately, Knight knows his fate is sealed. And he will leave that kill to go over to the Nico. So, kill back traded in this favor of LNG. And this is with 10 seconds to the Rift Herald, like he said. So, they might just try and... Stopwatch is coming out for Night Missing. Here we go. They're going to try and jump in and then blow her up. And they will. Double top also means that Missing has to use his stopwatch to flash over the side from 369. It means that his AD carry can stay alive. But a little bit of a stun, they will get it. Four to none in that exchange. They're going to be able to push in towards that mid lane as well. Not quite get the tier two, but they'll definitely get themselves a hell of a lot of gold. Uh, ugh, Zika. Not ideal. Not ideal. But uh, I don't look, even know if the play. 
look at where everyone else is on the map for LNG. I guess they're Maybe just assuming that he's out. isolated and they could pick him, but... No, well, speaking of Isolator, Ruler gets a lot of damage put onto him, and with no summoners, he's dead. The 369 is now caught between a rock and a hard place. The rock he put down because he wanted to try and get away, and he just won't be able to do it. The resets are in, and LNG, despite their top laner throwing an absolute Hail Mary to try and give JDG a win, he will not be going away from this one empty-handed. They'll get loads of kills, because here comes the Eco, lands on the three, and that means that all these health bars are so, so low. You're Frontline means nothing if you attack them from behind. Now we can see if Gala can plant his feet, which is exactly what he's doing as he tries to break down the wall that is this <laughs> horn. The Avalios has gone down and Gala gets himself excited. LNG want to end this game. They're chasing down Knight. He doesn't really have many places to go and he's going to be the last one to stand, but also the last one to fall. Full ace in favor of LNG. Five for nothing. And they're going to be able to push in and get an inhibitor. I mean, still, though, it's unfortunate to go for, especially without any of the summoners on their carries. Now they can catch him, and they're going to jump straight in on top of him. He didn't count the minions. He didn't count the minions. The Devourer keeps Gala alive, which means that he's going to be able to get himself safe and back out away from Kanavi. Eventually, he'll take him down, but at what cost? Finally, we can see the fight kind of spread out a little bit. Gets a bit more skirmish heavy. It's actually a two for two in favor of both teams. They're go-tending themselves a nice little setup. Gragas is going that you are punished for going too far forward a gale force forward as knights on the backside trying to find gala he will get him it's a two for one trade never mind a two for two trade missing doesn't have anywhere to go no flash and no way to save himself ruler he's dead didn't Ooh. count the minions got caught out by the nico and now you imagine with gala free hitting on this backside double kill for him he's going to be able to get the rest of his kills or even just this put in the rest it. of this damage this should be it it's only the ore and he's trying to cut off the wave but there's already a wave there later we're going to a full nine on the day and three on the series yeah nine games and lng bringing our match of the week the distance we said it we were robbed of this match but was not to be great from LNG to bounce themselves back and send us to a 1-1 scoreline. And again, we know that normally we were not really going to... We... Yeah, he's going to look for it. They're going to try and maybe give it over to the Jax. One more Q, one more auto attack could have been enough. But the top lane already going in favor of Zika. And that's exactly how LNG want to start this game. Self a kill. Tarzan doing exceptionally well to keep himself alive and relevant. And then... That's only our second kill of the game here, Lyric. We're nearly at 20 minutes. What is this? I don't know. Cleanse there from Gala keeps him safe. Moonlight Vigil is only on top of 369, but it's only the one you want to try and take him out. Double kill coming in here for Zika as they've got JDG routed. Gray Pop Blossom started it all off now. There's a lag a little bit there, it. but I don't think they go over it because they know that Tarzan hasn't got ult. He's going to have to flash over and try and get it. He does it. He spikes too early, and now JDG can really look to try and make this fight work. Scout going down, and yeah, they're going to try and just bait him out as best they can. The charm is good. Kanavi bonks him with the stick. I mean, it's all falling apart for LNG. JDG didn't need to get any kills because they're just playing the map so much smarter. It's huge. They're going to go in oh. with the Cyclone, try and jump on the Gala. There's the Pop Blossom, though, on the backside of this one here, but Gala's already gone down. They're going to get so many more kills off of this. Zika just can't finish off anybody. Ruler with the stopwatch doesn't go down. And then and they've the got blink it. of an eye, they've got to win the game. Yeah, JDG might have lost their last series off the back of an MSI victory, but they're coming in strong to the series. They're chasing Hung down, but the other members already in the base. They never lost the gold lead. They didn't need the kills. They only needed seven at the end of the day, but in 31 minutes, these Nexus turrets will fall, and JDG will get themselves their first win of summer 2023. Great to see the bounce back plays all the time definitely some better than others but still can't deny that like you know you can even see it there his kill participation results the favorites one yes in terms of spring results that's